Welcome back to another edition of the Burnout with yours truly, Tony. And we got a story that's coming out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida today. Uh, it's kind of a horrible story, but um, we're going to get dive into it. But my quote of the day is, The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in a moment of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. See, the thing about that is anybody can stand with you when everything is going good. But when times are hard and you have to fight and scrap, that really tells the character of that man or woman in that fit in that case. But it, it shows you the measure of their character, where they stand. But well, we're going to dive right into this uh, disgraceful um, topic I'm going to get into. Uh, like I said, it's coming out of Fort, La Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're getting this out of the Miami Herald. And actually, this just recently happened on July 21st, 2024. Uh, I'm going to read it first, and then I'm going to get into it. It says, Rilo Yancey III was attending a birthday party at Riverland Park in Poole in Fort Lauderdale on July 21st, 2024, when he was killed during a drive-by shooting. When Rilo um, Yancey was born, his grandfather thought he was the smartest little boy in the world. Rilo, three years old, three year old life was cut short Sunday when he was killed in a drive-by shooting at a child birthday party at Riverland Park in Poole in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Rilo was one of a kind, said Gerald Pugh. He was just three and he was so smart you wouldn't believe it. He started talking at nine months old. Rollo was attending his relative Sesame Street themed birthday party when gunfire erupted around 4.30 p.m. Police have since located one of the vehicles involved but have made no arrest. Witness described a chaotic and desperate scene with frantic 911 calls capturing the panic as callers pleaded for an ambulance. Rallo death followed another incident of gun violence involving a, involving a child in Fort Lauderdale early in July 20, uh, July. 28 year old Tierra Holiday was killed in a drive by shooting in Fort Lauderdale, and her two year old son was seriously injured. Fort Lauderdale my, uh, Mayor Dean uh, Translis urged anyone with information on either case to come forward at a press conference Wednesday morning at the Riverland Park in Poole at 950 Southwest 27th Avenue. If we do not stand together, folks, we will all fail, said Transom. Fort Lauderdale Police Chief Bill Swartz said they are following all leads but pleaded for the community assistance. Broward Crime Stoppers is offering $10,000 for information that could lead to an arrest. Everything is a possibility and is open at this point because all investigations are ongoing, he said. If you know anything, please do not be afraid to come forward. Rilo family is making funeral, funeral arrangements. I few noted that his employee for uh, Fort Services will assist with the funeral expenses. He brought peace and happiness to a household that was upside down, said Pew. Even now, he's still bringing us together. God knew he was too good for this world, his uncle said. Um, the one thing I can say about it, these drive-by shooting when you're killing these two, three-year, four-year kids, um, what kind of coward are you that you would shoot into a area where you know kids are involved, but anybody involved in that case? That's what kind of coward are you that you would do that? You blatantly have no regards for nobody's life, and nobody should have any regards for yours. It's disgraceful. It's heartbreaking, and 
that's really not a whole lot I can say to add to anything that has already been said. But I'm just curious about something. Uh, all y'all so-called thugs and gunfighters or whatever you want to call yourself, you're a real man and you're a real person. I don't care if it's female or male. You, you're a real character that you would take the life of a two-year-old. Because of what? Because you were shooting at somebody else? See, this, this is what really gets me. All y'all that so long so called in these gangs, y'all so called hard, what do you need a gun for? What kind of, oh, uh, you need a gun now? What kind of person are you? It shows you how big of a coward. And the word punk comes to mind with me. What kind of punk you are. That you would deliberately shoot into a party a Sesame Street party when you know kids are there not having no regard for them because you have a gun and to me the punishment should fit the crime I have no respect I have no sympathy no compassion no empathy for nothing regarding y'all because to take this three year old child's life you, you really are disgraceful that, that's really, that's, that's not words I can say to describe what kind of coward you really are, what kind of pathetic individual you are, what kind of pitiful, embarrassing person you are. And I hope to God they finally catch you. I really do. And I'm not a person that promotes violence. Our group does not promote violence. This is me talking now. This is me talking as a human being. I hope you suffer the same fate that that three-year-old kid you shot suffered. They're going to get you. At some point, they're going to get you. And anybody who knows anything about it, like the mayor said, you need to come forth. Put this reckless individual behind bars. Now, I really hope that you put up a fight with the police. I really hope you do. Because you do not deserve to live. And like I say, this is my opinion only. This is no representation of the group that we represent. I'm talking as a human being that does not like gun violence. But yet and still, all the politicians say we don't need gun laws. Okay. Yeah. We don't need them. Really can't see why that will. And you know everybody wanna to go to the Constitution about the right to bear arms. I, I have no problem with that. But these are reckless individuals out there with guns, just shooting in crowds. You you really any, people that kill kids, special needs individuals, elderly people. Anyway, that's a special place in hell for you. And I don't, I don't see anything about you that says rehabilitation. Because you don't deserve the second chance. You didn't get that three-year right low a second chance. You don't know what kind of pain you call this family because of your ignorance, your stupidity, and your blatantly disregard for human life. Because you have you have no regards for it. You, you, you've established that perfectly. It just makes me sick that a grown man would shoot into a kid's party for what, what could you possibly be? thinking at this point. And you know what I'm, I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking? The people that was there with you, one of them gonna turn your stupid mind in. And like I say, this is me talking. I hope you feel the fact. Because if, if this, is one kind, this is one time that I hope they have to use deadly force to, to get you. You deserve nothing. You deserve no second chance. You deserve, you don't deserve to stay in prison 15, 20 years of life. You don't deserve any of that. Not one part of this, 
you deserve. Well, uh, now, be honest with you, the only thing you deserve, in my opinion, is death. Because that seems to be what you want to, that's the path that you want to go down. And to me, that's the only true path that in, in my eyesight, I can see. You don't deserve to live. You are just, and whoever shot that killed the, the, the mother down there on um, uh, the 28 year old, and you ended up with three, two year old daughter, a son, you deserve the same thing. Y'all, y'all are just embarrassing. Y'all are the most pitiful, disgraceful people I've ever seen that you would just go blatantly shoot into a crowd when you know kids are in. You know kids are there. Especially kids. And you and you do it anyway? For no, for no reason. You just decided that this was a, you decided this was a appropriate thing to do at this time. They're going to get you. Don't surrender. You, you're hard, Brenda. You, you big enough to shoot into a crowd. Don't surrender. See, the thing I like about these so-called gang people that want to go around shooting, and it seems like they're shooting young and younger kids. I'm just curious, why don't y'all shoot at the police? Oh, you know why? Because they have guns too. And they can shoot back. You only gonna shoot at the innocent people who are minding their business, or kids sitting at home reading, they sitting on their porch in, in the place they should be. Them the people that you kill because you know they don't defend themselves. But when it comes to the police, you don't go out, you don't shoot them because they can retaliate, they can shoot at your behind too. So you only gonna shoot at victims that can't, that don't have the chance to defend themselves. And that furthermore lets me know what kind of sick coward you are. All y'all are cowards. Every one of y'all are cowards. It takes a big man to shoot a two-year-old. It takes a big man to shoot a three-year-old. Really takes a lot. It takes so much emotion and so much bravery to shoot and kill a child. But you won't, you don't go after nobody who has a gun themselves, do you? Well, it just shows you how pathetic you are. You're a pathetic piece of trash that don't deserve to be here walking around amongst decent people. And I don't care if you don't like it. You're trash. You're straight garbage. And you do not deserve to live. Why should the state take care of you for 25 years when you cut this three-year-old, two-year-old, four-year-old life short? That family is never going to be the same. They're never going to get over this. This is long-lasting. Because of what? Because you was after somebody? You know, when we came up, we didn't shoot anybody. We, we, we had a problem with somebody. Uh, we had an altercation. We used these here. But see, that's because we wasn't scared to fight either. And I'm not saying fighting is, um, it, it should be, if fighting is, no, I'm not um, advocating for fighting. But when you fight, nobody goes to prison. Nobody goes to funerals. But see, we fought one-on-one -on -one back then, but now these cowards need three and four people to help them fight because they can't fight. That's why they're so quick to get a gun because they can't fight. And, and these people, and, and while I'm on this, let me go ahead and say this. Every one of y'all who records somebody getting beat, jumped on by seven, eight people, y'all should be prosecuted too. Why in the world would you record that? Why would you not try to, and all you got all these spectators around, ain't nobody trying to intervene to break any of this stuff up. Are y'all so infatuated with social media and you in such a big hurry to put this on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok? Is this what you're doing? At the same time, it tells me what kind of human being you are also. But this guy, this 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 young uh, young kid, Rilo, 
did not deserve what he got. None of them deserves what they get. I mean, these three, these kids to get killed at these parties. And you decide to go into a public place and shoot up into a crowd. And the one person you killed was a three-year-old. If you had any decency, which, which you do not, we have already established you have zero decency. But whoever was in that car with you, whoever knows you, if they have any decency, they would turn your stupid behind you. Because you do, you do not deserve to be walking around among people. Not with the barbaric mind you have. That the first thing, the way you can solve any situation is to go grab a gun. That was your first alternative. That was the first thing that came through that feeble mind of yours. And then, not only that that was the first thing to come through that feeble mind, to shoot into a crowd where you know kids at, and somehow in that below to zero average brain you have, that was a good idea to you, wasn't it? Once again, I hope you put up a fight with the police. I, I really hope so. I hope no police officer injured. I hope the only casualty is you. Because I cannot stand nobody who does harm to their child. That really does not set well with me. And it shouldn't set well with nobody. Fort Lauderdale, they should unite and they should turn him in. Get his stupid behind off the street because he has no business on it. That's what I say. Hey, but it's another edition of the burnout. And I hate to start it off the week with a with a with a news with news like this. But hey, a lot of us not we don't know about this stuff because since it didn't happen where we stay at, happened down in Florida, a lot of this stuff doesn't get up to us. It's our job to make sure that we get this out for everybody can hear. Maybe it'll reach the right person. And then we can cut some of this foolishness out. But hey, we'll be back same time, same place next week. And remember, always flame up but never burn out. Also, hit that like button and hit subscribe. And uh, you'll get all the videos that uh, we put out. And like I said, if you have any comments, hey, put them in the comment section. But we'll see you next week. Two fingers, peace.